Hey guys, Mirhut here coming to you today from my tutorial world. And today I'm going to show you the updated seven segment display or digital counter, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go through and show you that it works real quick. So you have one, two, three, if I can hit the button, four, five, six, counting with mirror, seven, eight, nine, and then back to zero. Now I call this updated because I do have another video on this one over here, but as you can tell, it's uh, I've made it shorter, a little bit more compact, and made it to where you can connect the two. Like this one, I, you can see I had this thing over here, I was trying to connect them. Couldn't exactly get it to work in a way that made any sense at all. So had to kind of rework the design and came up with this. So for items, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need about 22, I put obsidian there, but that's the frame. Whatever you wanna make the frame out of, you need 22 of those. You're gonna need 13 redstone lamps. That just makes up the numbers. One button. You're gonna need a handful of redstone dust. I didn't actually go through and count it, guys. Uh, so I just put 32 there, but I think it's less than that. You guys can count with me and put it down in the comment section. <laughs> You're gonna need two sticky pistons, one observer, six comparators, 12 pistons, regular pistons. You're gonna need three pieces of slime, six pieces of glass, and two regular repeaters. Now this stuff over here is all for the programming and that's at the very end, this last thing we do. So we'll go over that later but that's gonna be three pieces of glass, seven regular blocks of any kind. I used a lapis block, uh, 56 uh, non-stackable items. I used a wooden uh, a wooden shovel just because it's you know the easiest to make, thing to make and it's cheapest and 23 barrels. We'll get to that in the end. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and set up your frame, give yourself a nice little number eight right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up the model stable circuit. So the first thing you're gonna do is put a button right there in that corner. And then right behind it, oh, you know, the one thing I didn't put on that block over there is whatever you're going to use to put your redstone on. <laughs> you can use wool, you can use whatever you want. So we're going to throw down three regular, you know, blocks of whatever. You got to throw down your sticky piston and observer facing straight up. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and put down your three pieces of dust. And that's it. That's your model stable circuit. I know, it's amazing. Now what that does, if you're not a redstone person, is you flip this button, it's just going to push that observer forward, which is going to make it light, and it's going to light up the redstone right above it, okay? So this whole redstone line that we're about to make, it'll light it all the way up, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up some pistons. So we're going to take these three blocks, boom, boom, boom. We're going to go out by one, and then we're going to go up by one right there, knocking out that one, okay? That's going to contribute to that's going to be what sets it all off because you're going to put redstone dust right here 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 and here okay now as far as regular pistons go we're going to put those right here and then i'll go ahead and put one here and here the first one was a temporary so we're going to knock that out and that's our bottom line right there already ready already ready already so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this redstone line right here Okay, so we're gonna need one block for there and then we're gonna start doing our glass blocks, okay? But we're gonna go one block right here. Boom, knock that out, okay? And then we're gonna go glass. Two right there. And then you're gonna go ahead and count, look. You're gonna go backwards by one and then backwards or forwards by three or forwards by three and backwards by <laughs> You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Forward by one and backwards by a total of three. So we're going to go ahead and do this right here. Boom. And then a total of three. So one, two, and the first one was three. So there you go. Absolutely perfect so far. And then if you want to go ahead, you can go ahead and put that other last piece of glass right there and you can just be done with the glass. So we're going to put that right there. You're going to throw dust on everything. So dust is going to go there, there, there there, 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 and right there on top. Boom. Absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to break out a regular block, and then right here we're going to put a block, then a temporary, so we can place these two, get rid of that, take a repeater, and throw that on two ticks delay, so just click it once, all right? 
Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna help to power our pistons that are gonna go right below. So right below this, you're gonna take regular pistons and we're gonna get into position right there. Boom, all right, two and three. Absolutely perfect. And then throw redstone dust on them. Boom and boom. That way when the button is pushed and the redstone gets lit and by the observer right there, it's gonna go ahead and power up and then go across, hit this repeater. It's gonna power this block which is going to power this redstone right here. This block is here in case you're doing a second one, because if you don't, it's going to have, you're gonna have some redstone canoodling problems and you don't want that. All right guys, so nextly, we are going to go ahead and put the pistons that are going straight down. As you can tell over here, we're gonna go straight down right there and then make sure there's three of them, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and put redstone dust on them and you're good to go. That's your top pistons that are facing down that are perfectly powered and ready to go. Now to wire the front, this is one of the changes that I made and before it was this little tower thing going on uh, and I'd converted that from the Java. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our regular blocks and we're gonna go right there, okay? And that's gonna run into a repeater and then we're gonna go up a block, boom. And then we're gonna go up a block and get rid of that. See, so I have dust, and I believe that repeater's on two ticks delay. You double check. Yeah, it's on two ticks delay. We're gonna go ahead and throw a piece of redstone dust right there. And that's gonna go into a sticky piston. Right here. No. <laughs> I thought I placed that wrong. Right there, and then that's your three pieces of slime. Underneath three pieces of slime, you're gonna have boom, boom, boom. And that's actually gonna be your pistons moving forward right here is actually just gonna be those slimes moving those blocks underneath. Pretty awesome. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and go into wiring the actual um, display and using all those comparators. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and Throw a block right there, and a block right there, and a block right there, and there, and there, and there, and we're gonna go up with it. And then on this one, we're gonna go down below, okay? We're gonna go one and two. You're gonna throw a comparator right there, right there, and right there. And you're gonna throw dust right there, there, and there. Knock out these two middle blocks, because they are not needed. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and close this little hole up right there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and throw three blocks right there and we're going to throw a comparator and then we're going to go ahead and go out right here one two three out right here one two three and we're going to throw a comparator there and there and we're going to put dust there and there boom 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 and we're going to close this up and then go throw dust on top right there looks good so far and we're also going to need to throw a couple of blocks to make sure that nothing canoodles with each other right here and right here now at this point we should be should be good let's go ahead and test it make sure we see everything move i saw the bottom two move nice <laughs> this is gonna get, get a little blocked here so let's see if we can see it Yep, okay, so we have done everything correct up to this point. Now, all that's left to do is the programming, which is the super fun part. <laughs> and actually, when I did the last video, if you guys remember, I actually messed up on a part of the programming. Uh, there's never a three as far as shovels go. There's never a three. It's, uh, <laughs> I made that mistake, and I got called out on it, so it's awesome. I had to make a pinned comment to show you guys which one was the right one. So we're going to go ahead and clear our inventory. Boom. And then for this part, again, like I said before, you're going to need three pieces of glass. You're going to need seven pieces of whatever kind of solid block you want to use. I use lapis because uh, it's blue. <laughs> you're going to need 56 shovels. <laughs> That's a lot of shovels and 23 barrels. I use barrels. You could use any other manner of, of uh, container, but you really can't use chests because you can't open a chest because it's going to be underneath the piston. Uh, uh, the original guy on Java made it with cauldrons, and I don't like cauldrons because you can't really lick, you know, again, it's going to be underneath a piston. You're going to have 
like one of them's the first one's gonna be right i believe right there if i'm not mistaken let me go look yeah so all three of those you know so you wouldn't be able to look in and see if you messed up or if you screwed up your programming at all with a barrel you can hit it from any direction and uh i love it you can use furnaces but like i said barrels go punch a tree one of the easiest resources you could possibly get so just like when I did on that tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up right here. And that's going to have everything you need. Um, you're going to have a number on top of the block and it'll tell you if it's on top of a barrel, it's going to tell you how many items to put in it. Uh, I'll put a G over the glass and I'll put a B over the block. All right, guys, now after you get done doing that, you should have a nice big zero sitting right there and we'll go so through and cycle, make sure it still works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. And before I leave you, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you how to link it up to the next, uh, the next, you know, series of numbers. OK, so we're going to go ahead and select that and that you will put a block right here. OK. And then you will put a comparator coming out of it. You got to kind of play with it to get to to sit there. OK, now it's automatically going to be lit when it's on zero. So we're going to go ahead and put it over at one. That way it doesn't light. OK, and then your next. Your next segment will be right here. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Boom, 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 and boom. I'm not gonna go through the whole, whole thing, but your button will wind up being right here. Dink. I remember those first three blocks we placed. One, two, three. Go through and reselect all these things. Boom and boom. And that sticky piston is going to go right there. And that observer is going to go right there. And then dust. Boom, boom, and boom. And that's how it, you know, it gets, gets powered again. So remember when you saw when it put there when it was on zero, it was already lit. That thing is only going to be lit when it's on zero. Um, and push off enough uh, power to go ahead and cycle the numbers. Now, a byproduct of that is going to be that when this number is on zero, you will not be able to manually recycle that number. OK, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I've ran into that problem a couple times when I actually hit the button too many times and, you know, I had to go reset it. If the number to the uh, right is on zero, so if that one is a zero, I can't change that number at all because that zero is making this power and this uh, observer is all the way forward. So it does cause a little bit of an issue if you're trying to reset the numbers manually. But as long as you know that, then you're not going to get mad at me and say it doesn't work because, you know, it does. <laughs> it's just it's just finicky. OK, so when you go ahead and cycle through the numbers, we'll go ahead and do this. Boom, boom. I'm trying to see hmm, how can I get into a position where you guys will be able to see that correctly? <laughs> Eight, nine. And can I hit it from here? Boom. You guys see that? But since it's powered all the way, it's, it's going to be stuck out there like that. So that means you're not going to be able to hit this button right here and cycle numbers, you know, when it's on zero. You see, <laughs> but as soon as you get past that, then you can cycle the rest of the numbers. So just keep that in mind when you're resetting numbers or, or going to specific numbers. So, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, once again, thank you so much, guys, for the 600 subs. That's what we're sitting at right now. I hope by the time you're watching this, I'm at a thousand. <laughs> So go ahead and like this video, hit subscribe to make sure you can, you know, get notified every time I come out with a new video, hit the bell. And guys, I also stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday night around about 8 p.m. Eastern time. See you guys next time.